everybody. Welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with my bestie, Mandy. And I'm here with my bestie, Jessica. So today we are going to be doing a book rec challenge tag. So Mandy, what exactly are we doing today? Steph posted on her book channel that she wanted to start doing challenges again. And so I watched hers and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like so much fun. So this is just a book recommendation challenge tag. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go through 15 questions, kind of rapid fire. Are you ready? No. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you will link her channel down below, right? Yes. I will link her channel down below. Oh, and before we get started. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we will be giving away the Bell Book Box edition of Candy Steiner's Make Me Hate You um, once we hit 100 subscribers. So we're just getting our channel started and we want to, it's also signed, um, but we want to make sure that um, we hit our goals for the year. And so when we hit 100 subscribers, those of you guys who are subscribed will get put into a drawing for this book. Um, it is an exclusive edition, hardback, so you can't buy this anywhere. And um, you it's need a beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. Um, and sometimes it's hard to see. Like, we can't always see who our subscribers are. So make sure to leave a comment. Even just an emoji works for me, um, just so we know who you are, especially if your account is set to private. And then once we get our 100 subscribers, we will do the drawing. Okay, let's get okay. started. Let's get started. First question. question. Number one, a book you tell everyone is your favorite. Oh, that's easy. It Ain't Me Babe by Tilly Cole. Um, I mean, you know. <laughs> I love that one too. Mine yeah. is Shocking Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. And I know that this has like the age gap, a little bit of taboo in it. I don't care. This is my favorite book and everyone will know it. You think yours is taboo? <laughs> oh my gosh. Me walking up to a complete stranger being like, here, Read this. It's about a motorcycle gang and a cult. Here you go. Have fun. <laughs> that, that doesn't scream she needs therapy. I don't know what does. That's true. Okay. Uh -huh. Question or number two, a book that is your guilty pleasure. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I grabbed, it's a series that I have, but it's the um, last ride, last rider series. So I just grabbed the first three in the series because it is, these guys are funky as hell. And I would never be like, oh, yeah, you're just getting started, but you started reading these. These are good, but they're yeah, not I don't pleasure. Like I wouldn't tell you. At all, but I can't stop reading it. <laughs> I know. There's just something about them. You cannot put them down. So I wouldn't tell a complete stranger on the street to go read them. But Mandy, you you got told to read these. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have uh, Torn by Carrie Ann Cole and Don't Kiss the Bride by Carrie Ann Cole would also be my guilty pleasures. Mm -hmm. Anything by Carrie Very Ann Cole. taboo, <laughs> age gap. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. Question three, a book everyone loved, but you don't. <sighs> Den of Vipers. Oh my gosh. If you loved it, great. Kudos to you. I didn't get it. They were telling each other they loved each other within like what I thought it was like two months. It was like two weeks, if not sooner. And the girl, the heroine was obnoxious. I don't get it. It didn't work for me. Okay, mine is so I loved a confidence of wildflowers. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I hated the second book, A Resurrection of Wildflowers. And I know lots of people out there love both of those books. I absolutely hated the second book. I felt like the author betrayed her characters. Yeah. I was really oh yeah. We mm -hmm. gotta move on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh book four, a book you read the fastest. Believe it or not, it was the whole Off Balance series. I could not put it down. Is there five or six books in the series? Um, there's now that I think there's six now because yeah, so there was five at the time that I read it, and they were they're thick. And I read it right after I had my mastectomy, and I read them like within three days. Like this is one of the smallest ones, and I just could not put them down. It was before there was audio for them. Um, I abandoned my whole my children to read these books. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I read that whole series in four days and they're long books and I was working like full time at the time. Yeah. So, so that actually might be mine too, but I put, um, I picked Dr. Stanton by T.L. Swan. Mm -hmm. I loved that book so much. So yeah. much that I like literally couldn't do anything but read that book. Okay. Yeah, I know. It was a good okay. one. Dr. Stanton's a good one. Yes. A book that deserves more hype. You are not going to be surprised about this. 
Sticks and Stone by Grace McGinty. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Knock it off. It was one of my favorites from last year. Because it's reverse hair, Mandy rolls her eyes. It was good. No, I loved because it. you can't stop talking about this book. And There's I can't. There's a reason why. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why I can't stop talking about it. Everybody should be reading this unless you have a thing for reverse harems that's not a positive thing. So, yes. Okay, I am going to break the rule a little bit. I actually have three books because I could <laughs> not decide. So, A Letter um, to Delilah by Jackson Kidman. Hellbent by Karen Crompton, who's going to be at Love in Seattle, and The Soul Always Remembers by Georgia Cates. I looked at all three of those and could not believe that they only had, they're like, only have a couple hundred ratings, not even reviews, just ratings. And I'm like, how? These are like some yeah. of the best books out there. So, the Soul Always Remembers is, oh my gosh. Oh, yes. So those books definitely good. need more so hype. Good. Yeah. The next question is a book that is becoming a movie or TV show. Okay, I'm very nervous about this. But the Akatar series is supposed to become a movie or a TV show, and I'm just so afraid they're gonna do my boys wrong. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't like to watch any of my books that become TV shows because it's better as a book always. What do you got? Okay, I have Egomaniac by Vi Keeland, and it is supposed to be coming a, a movie. She posted about it a long time ago, but when I looked it back up, it looks like it's actually supposed to be coming out this year. I loved that book. It is hilarious, and I'm not as attached to the character, so I think unless they totally botch it, I think I could really enjoy the movie. They tend to botch it. Uh, I, I don't, and I don't watch TV at all. That's how we're able to read so much, so like I... I probably won't. So, yeah. Okay, so next is a book that you have reread the most. Oh, that's easy. I read this at least four to five times a year. The Golden Dynasty by Kristen Ashley. I read it all the time. Like, at least every two to three months, I will read this thing again. Easy. So, I have actually <laughs> not reread a book yet. But so I'm grabbing off my shelf a birthday girl because it's been almost exactly a year since I read this. And I was just talking to you about how I'm going to reread it since it's right. like my one year anniversary with it. exactly. <laughs> so exactly. This is what I picked because I definitely want to reread it. I'm actually a little nervous, though, because I want it to still feel as good as it did the first time I read it. It's never going to shush, shush Sorry. your mouth. I hate to tell you that, but it's not. OK, a book from a genre that you don't typically read. Um, so this was very easy because I've only ever read one book that's not romance um, since I started my reading journey. <laughs> and that was um, If You Tell by Greg Olson. So this one is very interesting because it's actually, if you ever read it, so it's a murder, it's like murder mystery, right? It's not murder mystery. What is it, Mandy? It's, it's based on a true story. True crime. That's what they call it. It's true crime. And it actually takes place in our hometown. And we oh. know the, the people involved. So yes. um, we grew up with them. So um, it was, it's, it's very, very good, but very disturbing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I looked through my bookshelf to see like, what other books do I buy? I'm a sucker <laughs> for that. This is good time girls. <laughs> I love history. And for whatever yes. reason, I'm obsessed with, um, like the gold rush times with brothels and things like this. So this is my book. And then I was that like, actually looks really good. I would totally be all over. That. I love them. <laughs> I love I, like, people make fun of me for it, but absolutely love them. And so How then dare they? I know. And then my other one would be, I will find you by detective Kenda. When I had a surgery a couple years ago on my foot and I couldn't walk for a really long time. I watched homicide hunter and I love that show so much that I had to get his book. And that's not typically something I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The next one is a book that deserves all the hype it gets. Still beating by Jennifer Hartman. It deserves all the hype that it gets. I love that book. I love this book. This is my belt, my mystic box edition. It's so pretty. It's got like gold spray edges, but yes, this deserves all the hype. Yes. Yeah, uh, I picked the words by Ashley Jade. I really love that book. I know it's yeah. on your TBR and I feel like it's getting even more hype right now because her book, The Choice, which features Memphis and Skylar, which are side characters and the words that book just came out. And so I feel like the hype around the words is even more, but it's so good. It definitely deserves all that hype. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, a book you usually recommend when asked to give a recommendation. So this was hard because we've we talked about this right? last night. What? I said Razor's Ride, right? <laughs> Every time our Ice Planet Barbarians. I'm like, here, we the alien smut. Um, oh. It's not actually smut. There's plot. Thank you. Gosh, um, you're awful. No, um, Archer's Voice. I oh. love Archer's Voice. And it's just, it's, an e it's a one for somebody who's not always into romance. This is an easy one to be like, here, go ahead and read this. But it's, it's oh, so good. So good. Yeah. And you can feel safe recommending that. I've seen it in Target before. <laughs> oh, is that is that how we gauge these if they're in Target? I don't not? know. I don't agree with Target. They have all a certain author that I refuse to read. So I know, but I'm just saying if you're recommending it to a stranger, like yeah. if you can buy it at Target, it's not like you're, you know, going but I know, to probably. But I know your what your recommendation is for this, and that is also one of my number one recommends. Okay, so mine would be the Surviving Trace series, um, specifically the first book, Surviving Time by Kalia Reed. I love it. It's got a little bit of romance. Oh, wonderful. A little romance, <laughs> and time travel. The plot is fantastic. There's so many emotions you feel when reading this book. So if somebody is looking for a recommendation, I feel like it's a fantastic read, which mm -hmm. also probably doesn't get the hype that it deserves. It could no. definitely be way more hyped. It's so good. Yeah, I could have used that for a couple of these questions or answers, but I mm -hmm. didn't want to use it for all of them. I wanted to break it up a little bit because there's other books out there that are amazing, but that is mm, number one for a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a book that has your favorite characters. Oh, that's easy. Okay, I grabbed two, but they're in the same world. Hold on. And no, Mandy, it is not aliens. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it is Twisted Emotions and Twisted Pride by Cora Riley. I love Nino and Kiara. Oh, they have such a special place in my heart, but also Remo and Serafina. Oh my gosh. Yes. These are like my four favorite characters of all time. If I could just keep Nino and Remo, I'd be happy. I picked Pucked by Helena Hunting. I absolutely love Violet and Jax. They are so funny. And there is some drama, but their world's not super crazy either. And they're, the characters in that series are just hilarious. And I absolutely love it. So that's what I picked for favorite characters. I struggled, though, to try and decide who actually were my favorite, favorite characters. So I could probably do this challenge again in like two weeks and these would change. <laughs> I, but the thing is, I don't find that I get, uh, I mean, I guess I'm attached to certain characters, but I don't get like emotion, like crazy attached. So when I got to that question, I was kind of like, mm, who, hmm. But I know like the, this character, like the Kimura Chronicles, all the guys out in Vegas, like they are my favorite people out of all my books. And that was kind of how that went. I, it was just <laughs> hard to, it was hard to figure that one out. Okay. A book you wish you could live in. Okay. This was another kind of hard one for me I mean I figured it out easily but I'm like where I I, I read a lot of mafia I don't want to live in that um, I know that's what I was thinking you know <laughs> I know so I was like okay which which ones do I have that have like a world that I would want to live in so the um outdoors Alaskan girl in me would totally live in the ice planet barbarian world let's be honest if I didn't have the amazing husband that I had I'd land on that planet I could be cozy by a fire because I don't, I wouldn't be outside at all. And I'd get me a big blue alien who would worship the ground I walked on. Oh my God. <laughs> I got excited about that. Sorry. And I would get a big blue alien who would worship the ground I walked on. So come on. I'm, I'm we are so girl. different. I would never want to go. The whole time I was reading that book, I'm like, this planet sounds awful. I would never want to live here. Oh. And the whole time I'm reading it, I'm like, set me up by a cozy fire and tell me stories. Because I can't read them there. They'd have to tell me the stories. Big blue dude who worships the ground you walk on. Come on. Okay, we're very different. I'm going to go live on off-campus world. <laughs> you want to continually live in college? No, you don't have to continually live in college. They eventually <laughs> grow up. But oh. I just, this is a, like... I love their friendships and things like that. And this was hard. So I don't know. I'd probably change it. But that was just something that I could see myself actually like wanting to participate in just kind of all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, a book you thought you would hate but ended up loving. So that one was interesting for me. I kind of looked through what I've read over the last year. And the one that I chose was Dust Walker by Tiffany Roberts. So I've read a couple of Tiffany Roberts books. It's their husband and wife, Tiffany and Robert. Um, but 
they just don't normally do it for me. Like I just, I have a hard time with theirs for some reason. Um, but this one actually did. And it's like a cyborg type romance, but it was good. I gave it five stars. So that one, it, I didn't think I'd like it at all. I thought I'd be DNFing it, but no, it was great. Mine's Dark Notes by Pam Godwin. And if you remember, you told me to read it and I read like, I don't even think I made it a chapter in and Ivory's life is just so hard to read about. I was like, I'm not reading this, Jessica. This is awful. Why would you mm -hmm. want me to read this? Mm -hmm. You're like, no, just keep reading, which is like yes. your mantra. That's my mantra when it comes place. to you because you ask me questions. I'm like, just keep reading. You don't want to know. So I ended up loving it and it's actually a top like five star top read for me. One of my mm -hmm. favorites from last year. And I remember when recommending that to you, like, because it was when you were first starting to read a lot and I mm -hmm. remember going, Oh, she's a teacher. How's she going to feel about this? A teacher student relationship type situation. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was hesitant at first, but I'm glad you loved it. Glad you yeah. loved it. Yeah. Okay. A book that made you cry. Okay. Yeah. I don't cry in books. <laughs> okay, we, we know this. There is one book that I have read since 2020 that has made me cry. And it was Transcendence by Shay Savage. And it's not for the reasons that you think, but I did cry at the end. And um, it, they were they were happy tears, kind of. Um, but I was sobbing in the bathtub reading this book. My husband came in and was like, what is wrong with you? So <laughs> Transcendence by Shay Savage did it for me. Okay. And again, this will show how completely opposite we are. <laughs> A better question for me would be, what book what didn't book make you cry? <laughs> So The Wrong Heart by Jennifer Hartman. I cried throughout that book. Um, book two in the Raven Hood series. Could hardly read it because I cried the whole time. I can't I believe I cried Moore. during that. Book yep. two in Surviving Trace. Cried the whole time with a knot in my stomach from the you eight. Did? Oh, I don't want to get I get cut. Like, oh, I would get anxiety. Sorry, we keep going at the same time. Go ahead. I was just going to say it was gut-wrenching. Like, oh. Yeah. And I get that because I get, like, the anxiety. Like, I can feel it in my chest. Like, the anxiety of, like, oh, we got to get through this. But it doesn't make me cry. No mm -hmm. books really make me cry. If you guys can think of a book that will make me cry. And, no, I will not read A Thousand Boy Kisses. I do not want those kinds of things. But um, for reasons, if you've read it, you know. But put it in the comments. I would love for you guys to try to make me cry. That's Try it. I love emotional reads. Okay. A okay. book that you wish you could read for the first time. Oh, that is so easy. And that is the Surviving Trace series. Mm. I mean, even now as I read it, which they're not in order here, even now when I read it, all the emotions are still there. And it's, it's one of those things that's really interesting. Like it's really hard to bring back emotions for me or, you know, in books. Like if I felt it once, I'm good. You know, you're not going to get them again typically. But even this, knowing how it turns out, I still get the anxious, anxiety, craziness that I did the first time around. But if I could read mm -hmm. it all over again and experience it all over again, I mean, Etienne and Serene are just, oh, I love them mm -hmm. so much. I wouldn't mind living in their world too, but I would want ATN for myself. <laughs> Thank you. You're funny. What about you? Um, well, you said that I can't keep seeing birthday girl <laughs> for all of them. So I thought long and hard about this. I picked Help Me Remember by Corinne Michaels. And the reason I picked this is because it's an amnesia book and she's trying to figure out some things that had happened to her. And the book was so good. I loved it, but you already know everything. And so it would just be a book that I would love to be able to get those feelings again. And I've unsuccessfully searched and searched for a really good amnesia book that gives off those vibes, like help me remember dead. And I have not found it yet. So tell Jessica books that will make her cry. Give me some really good amnesia books. Yeah. Oh, I love amnesia. Good amnesia story. Okay, that wraps up our challenge. Yay. Okay, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us, a, definitely make me cry and make Mandy feel good in the comments below. Um, and then what else, Mandy? Uh, make sure you check back on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for more videos from us. And, and until, until then, then, subscribe to our channel to be entered <laughs> into our Road to 1K giveaway and go read. <laughs>